the celebration from electricity house wiring to energy management system okay so as we all know the electrical supply to our house is ac source and we are connecting a load the load is our bulb so there is a meter in our house where the eb officials will take the reading from it what is the name of that meter okay so this is the question please uh, give your answer within yourself right and if uh, given the correct answer you appreciate yourself if you have assumed the wrong answer you can correct your uh, answer right that's the idea here so there is a meter in our house where the eb officials will take the reading from it what is the name of that meter okay so hope you have uh, you are ready with your answers please cross check your answer with this answer so it is a device that measures the electric energy consumed by an electrically powered device or in a real sense the electricity board uses it to track the amount of electricity utilized by a residence or an industry for building and monitoring the purposes definitely the meter is for building and monitoring purpose only no so they kept the eb department has kept that metering for building as well as monitoring how much we are consuming so that is the purpose so what is the name of that meter the meter is energy meter which is very interesting right so the meter which is available in our house is an energy meter that is a very interesting thing that you have to understand so this is fantastic right this is what the meter which is analog energy meter which was long back it was there today everything is an embedded system today that's the beauty right why we are bringing in here because today everything is an embedded system embedded system means it is pure digital okay all the meters today are digital meters whenever you are able to see some display here you can see there is a display digital display so when there is a digital display definitely there is a seven segment display when there is a seven segment display definitely it undergoes two core conversions binary to bcd and bcd to seven segment core conversion so the two core conversion will happen only through a microprocessor sitting inside or microcontroller sitting inside so the microcontroller is there behind the screen which measures the amount of current flow or which measures the voltage which makes the product out of it and which consider the timing and all put together will measure the energy and then displays that energy in a seven segment display seven segment display means it need not be led here it is an lcd seven segment display lcd seven segment display seven segments are there to display the numbers from 0 to 9 that's all it can be an lcd seven segment display or it can be a led seven segment display lcd seven segment display consumes very low power but led seven segment display consumes much power uh, that is the only thing right it's very interesting right so whenever there is a digital display that just device it is an embedded system so all energy meters are embedded systems that is what the moral of the story here so if you are joining uh, in uh, energy meter manufacturing company you must know what exactly the voltage what exactly the current what exactly the resistance what is the ac power what is the ac voltage what is the ac current and what is one unit of energy and lot more things we are supposed to know so it is a mandatory requirement for us to go through that that is why this presentation today is offered for all of us okay now the question is it is an energy meter the first of all we need to know what is energy yes what is energy work done over a period of time is energy in physics terms power over a period of time is energy in terms of electrical terms in electrical terms power over a period of time is energy it's quite interesting right now the question comes power over a period of time means what unit of power is w and uh, watts that is watts and the unit of time is uh, seconds right seconds minutes hours so power is watt into time is energy okay so watt into time is energy okay so then now next question comes okay time we all know very well seconds minutes hours what do you mean by power the power what do you mean by power power is in terms of electricity in terms of electricity what is power power is voltage into current the product of voltage into current is power the product of voltage into current is power now what is energy so voltage into current into time is energy voltage into current is time voltage into current into time is energy so v into i into t is energy so energy very easily we, we can remember forever even if we try to forget we will never forget because we have vat university so whenever we remember vat university whenever we talk about vat university that is energy so more energy is there in vat university something maybe we can say vat is energy so voltage into current in time is energy that is how we can celebrate energy it's very interesting right so the product of voltage into current into time is energy very easily we can remember with vat okay so vat is energy something like that we can celebrate okay now what is one unit of energy okay so tamil nadu government has given 100 units free of cost so one unit means we must know what is one unit here one unit is 1 kilowatt hour right one unit is 1 kilowatt hour 
so if 1000 watts are consumed for one hour then you can say it is one unit if 1000 watt bulb blows for one hour then it is one unit very easily we can remember like this if a thousand watt bulb blows for one hour then you can say it is one unit similarly if a hundred watts bulb blows for 10 hours that is also one unit right similarly if one hundred watts bulb blows for 10 hours then it is also one unit in 10 rooms if 10 hundred watts bulbs are glowing for one hour that is also one unit uh, we are talking about uh, voltage across 10 watts bulb okay so what will be the voltage across 10 watts bulb is the question right so before that we must know how the electrical wiring is being done we must know that how the electrical wiring is being done if you look at the screen this is very quite interesting this is our electrical wiring which is connected in our house right so there is a 230 voltage 50 hertz ac supply from the eb department so all the electrical appliances are connected in parallel the first parallel circuit is 10 watts bulb the second parallel circuit is 100 watts bulb and the third parallel circuit is iron box you have connected an iron box okay and the fourth parallel circuit is a fan okay the symbol for fan is motor something like that we have given right and the power is mentioned here there is a 10 watts bulb here and there is a 100 watts bulb here assuming that iron box is 1000 watts and assuming that fan is 60 watts okay so voltages are shown here but the question with respect to this particular slide is what about the voltage across 10 watt bulb is the question right now you can see this is the 10 watt bulb which is connected here what will be the voltage across this 10 watt bulb is the question please assume the answer if you if you if your answer is correct you appreciate yourself if wrong you can correct your uh, mistake so the voltage across 10 watts bulb is 230 voltage voltage across 10 watts bulb is 230 voltage as we all know voltage across the parallel circuit remains constant because all the electrical appliances are connected parallelly so the voltage across these electrical appliances are 230 volt is more beautiful more interesting to celebrate okay similarly what about the voltage across 100 watts bulb now you can give the right answer right? this is also a part of the parallel circuit hence the voltage across 100 watts bulb is also 230 voltage and similarly what will be the voltage across iron box even though it is consuming 1000 watts of power the voltage across iron box is also 230 voltage similarly what about the voltage across ceiling fan the voltage across the ceiling fan is also 230 voltage so tube light is 40 watts means voltage across the tube light is also 230 voltage so whatever might be the appliances it may be a washing machine it may be a air conditioning system it can be a refrigerator the voltage across all these electrical appliances are only 230 voltage because all the appliances are connected only parallelly in parallel circuit the voltage remains constant which is 230 which is the supply voltage now why always voltage remains constant for all electrical appliances is the question right as we discussed right now because all the electrical appliances are connected in parallel the voltage across all the parallel circuit is equal which is 230 voltage that is what we have discussed right now the next question comes from question number 5 to 8 right so power of each appliances are varying right but the voltage remains constant how why so if you see there is a 10 watt bulb 100 watts bulb 1000 watts bulb and 60 watt fan and 40 watts tube light uh, the power is also fixed and the voltage is also fixed okay, because because they are connected parallelly you cannot able to change the voltage so voltage is fixed which is 230 fantastic right because the manufacturing manufacturer itself is decided the voltage so that cannot be changed right so the fan means it is it consumes only 60 watts something like that is also fixed power equal to voltage into current right you know that power equal to voltage into current here for 100 watts bulb so current i equal to so power power by voltage because power is also fixed here you can see power is also fixed as 100 voltage is also fixed as 230 from this we can measure how much is current is flowing through this 100 watts bulb so if you look at this carefully so the current flows through the wire right the flow of electrons is current if odna current if current enga odudhe the water analogy la solranga illaya indha edathula idu thanni tank thanni tank la irundhu current odudhu appdi solrom odna current indha edathula oru joint t joint irukku ipo idu valiya konja current oda paakudhu idu valiya current oda paakudhu idu valiya current oda paakudhu idu varai oda paakudhu thalra force tank la irundhu varra force 230 voltage adhu da force pressure da force nechikalam ipo kalyan veetukku la pona 4 tap irukku kai kala varukku appo 4 tap mari indha 4 switch vechikalam ipo tap off panni irukku adhanaala switch la close panni irukku thanni da current nu vechikalam appo thanni varalai indha pakka thanni varalai ena 4 switch close panni irukku all the four taps are closed so for the all the four switches are open so current flows through this because the switch is open uh, there is no connection between the 
conductor right so air is an insulator so through insulator the current will not flow hence no current will flow through this so no current will flow through 10 watts bulb 100 watts bulb 1000 watts bulb and 60 watts bulb but there will be a voltage across all the 10 watts bulb 100 watts bulb 1000 watts bulb and 60 watts bulb appo and the pressure irundite da irukudhu and the aluthu irukudhu appo voltage na enadhu min aluthum current na enadhu min ootam appo aluthu irundha da ootam irukum appo aluthu irundite irukudhu 230 voltage inga aluthu irundite irukudhu eppa wipe kedaikudho appo dabal na current oda aarambichirum appo inga appo when the switch one is closed say for example when you so close the switch one the ஒரே வழி தான் இந்த வழிதான் இருக்குது இந்த வழியும் போக முடியாது இந்த வழியும் போக முடியாது இந்த வழியும் போக முடியாது பட் டூ தேர்ட்டி வோல்டேஜ் சப்ளை இருக்குது டபால் இந்த வழியை உள்ள ஓடுறாங்க உள்ள ஓடி இந்த டங்ஸ்டன் ஃபிலமெண்ட்டுக்குள்ள கரண்ட் ஓடி தர்பி இப்படி கம்ப்ளீட்டாக க்ளோஸ் ஆகுது இப்போ டங்ஸ்டன் ஃபிலமெண்ட்டுடைய ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் எனக்கு கரண்ட் ஃப்ளோ த்ரூ திஸ் டங்ஸ்டன் ஃபிலமெண்ட் இட் எமிட்ஸ் ஹீட் அண்ட் லைட் அப்படிங்கிற பிரின்சிபல் படி அந்த பல்ப் எரியுது அப்படின்னு முடிச்சுக்கலாம் ஸோ இப்போ டங்ஸ்டன் ஃபிலமெண்ட் ஒரு ஹை ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸாக இருக்க போகுது ஸோ அந்த ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் வழியாக கரண்ட் ஃப்ளோ ஆகிறதுனால அது இட் எலிமினேட்ஸ் லைட் அஸ் வெல் அஸ் ஹீட் அப்படின்னு சொல்றாங்க நம்ம இன்கேண்டிஷன் எல்லாம் யூஸ் பண்ணக்கூடாதுன்னு நம்ம எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் போர்டு சொல்லியிருக்காங்க சர்க்கியூட் டைகிராமுக்கும் எல்லாத்துக்கும் புரிஞ்சுக்கிறக்காக இன்கேண்டிஷன் லேம்ப் ரொம்ப ஈஸியா இருக்குங்கிறதுல இங்கேயும் நம்ம யூஸ் பண்றதுனால தப்பு இல்லை டென் வாட்ஸ் பல்ப் ஹண்ட்ரட் வாட்ஸ் பல்ப் இன்கேண்டிஷன் லேம்ப் ஓகே ஃபென்டாஸ்டிக் லைட் பட் சிஎஃப்எல் எல்இடி பல்ப் சார் யூஸ் பண்ணணும் சொல்லியிருக்காங்க பட் திஸ் இஸ் ஓகே அப்போ இது வழியா இப்போ இப்ப பிரான்ச்சிங் கரண்ட் நம்ம படிச்சிருக்கிறோம் இல்லைங்களா இப்போ சுவிட் ஒன் வழியா ஒரு கரண்ட் போகுது ஐ ஒன் வச்சுக்கலாம் சுவிட் டூ வழியா கரண்ட் போகுது ஐ டூன்னு வச்சுக்கலாம் சுவிட் த்ரீ வழியா கரண்ட் போகுது அது ஐ த்ரீன்னு வச்சுக்கலாம் சுவிட் ஃபோர் வழியே இன்னொரு கரண்ட் போகுது ஐ ஃபோர்னு வச்சுக்கலாம் ஸோ தேர் வில் பி ஐ ஒன் ஐ டூ ஐ த்ரீ ஐ ஃபோர் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் த வாட் ரெக்கொயர்மெண்ட் கரண்ட் ஃப்ளோ மே வேரி த வாட்டேஜ் இஸ் லெஸ் லோ லெஸ் கரண்ட் ஃப்ளோஸ் ரோ திஸ் சின்ன சின்ன டேப்பு இப்போ வாட்டேஜ் இஸ் மோர் அப்படின்னா பெரிய டேப்பு பெரிய டேப்பில் நிறைய தண்ணி வரும் சின்ன டேப்பில் குறைஞ்சி குறைவா தண்ணி வரும் பெரிய டேப் வச்சிருப்போம் குண்டு ஒயராக தான் இருக்குது அயன் பாக்ஸினுடைய ஒயர் குண்டு ஒயராக தான் இருக்குது செல்ஃபோன் சார்ஜர் ஒயர் ஒல்லியான சின்ன ஒயராக இருக்குது அப்போ சின்ன ஒயரில் சின்ன பைப்பில் சின்ன கொஞ்சம் தண்ணி தான் போகுது குண்டு ஒயரில் நிறைய தண்ணி போகுதுங்கிற பிரின்சிபல் படி வச்சுக்கலாம் பட் அழுத்தம் ஒரு இடத்துல சேம் அதாக இருக்குது அப்படிங்கிறது வச்சுக்கணும் ஸோ வித் திஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் வி ஆர் சப்போஸ் டு மெஷர் த கரண்ட் ஃப்ளோயிங் த்ரூ த டென் வாட்ஸ் பல்ப் வி ஆர் சப்போஸ் டு மெஷர் த கரண்ட் ஃப்ளோயிங் த்ரூ ஹண்ட்ரட் வாட்ஸ் பல்ப் வி ஆர் சப்போஸ் டு மெஷர் த கரண்ட் ஃப்ளோயிங் த்ரூ அயன் பாக்ஸ் ஆஸ் ஐ ஒன் ஐ டூ ஐ த்ரீ தட் இஸ் வாட் யூ நீட் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தென் ஒன்லி வி கேன் ஏபிள் டு மெஷர் த பவர் பாருங்க வி நோ தட் பவர் ஈக்குவல் டு வோல்டேஜ் இன் டு கரண்ட் ஃபார் ஹண்ட்ரட் வாட்ஸ் பல்ப் கரண்ட் ஈக்குவல் டு power by voltage because we know power we know voltage so power equal to 100 and voltage is 230 so 100 by 230 equal to 0.43 amps 434 amps so because the unit of current is ampere so allathu 434 milliampere appo 434 milliamps of current is flowing through the 100 watts bulb adu nichukla okay ipo switch close paniyaachu look at the screen it's very interesting right switch close paniyaachu appo 230 volt shift get supply varudhu appo bulb eri idu paarenga bulb eri idu appo i what is the current i i the current flowing through 100 watts bulb is 434 milliamps something like that you need to understand so it's quite interesting because already we know the voltage already we know the power which is 100 watts so current can be computed very easily so 434 milliamps of current is flowing through 100 watts bulb which is quite interesting right so again uh, the enlargement of the same thing okay so current flowing through 10 watts bulb and 100 watts bulb abdin pathinga Oh, this is quite interesting, right? So, if there is a 10 watts bulb, by using the same formula, we are measuring the 10 divided by 230 is uh, 43 milliamps. Okay, so for 43 milliamps. Okay, so the I1, the current flowing through 10 watts bulb is 43 milliamps. Current flowing through 100 watts bulb is 434 milliamps. Okay, so because the voltage is 10 times more, the current flowing is also 10 times more. in a 10 watts bulb 43 milliamps of current is flowing in 100 watts bulb 430 milliamps of current is flowing okay so uh, the voltage the voltage as well as the current both are directly proportional so when the voltage increases current will also increase is because voltage remains constant yes sir no it's very interesting right so every branch the current changes based on the appliances or based on the load that what you are connected in the electrical system so only by measuring the current flowing through that load we can able to identify whether the appliance is working or not whether the appliance is working or whether the appliance is not working the voltage remains constant by measuring the voltage we cannot able to identify the appliance is working or not so you self diagnosis we talk about diagnosis now when you want to identify whether the bulb is glowing or not instead of keeping ldr in front of the bulb by looking at the current flowing through the bulb we can able to understand whether the bulb is working or not if there is no current flowing through mean flowing through it
identify whether the bulb is glowing or not. Even in switch off condition, if you measure the voltage, it is 230 voltage. Even in switch on condition, if you measure the voltage, that is also 230 voltage. Only by measuring the current, we can able to identify whether the appliance is working or not. That is the beautiful way of energy management. We talk about energy management system, we talk about smart home, we talk about smart energy, we talk about smart grid. So for that, measuring current is the prime requirement. That is what the fundamental that is being celebrated in this particular uh, presentation where we are all can do something, right? So then what about total current? Total current is sum of all currents, okay? So in the circuit diagram, right? Uh, the current flowing through 10 watts, 100 watts, and uh, 1000 watts and 60 watts bulb. So counting all the current flowing through, all the currents put together forms of I, right? I1 is the current flowing through 10 watts bulb. I2 is the current flowing through 100 watts bulb. I3 is the current flowing through 1000 watts bulb. And I4 is the current flowing through 60 watts fan. Adding all those currents will help us to get the, the total current. So the product of this current into voltage is power. And power consumed over a period of time is energy. Based on that, we can compute energy, right? Based on that, we can compute energy. This is very interesting, right? Now we can uh, take a uh, good example, right? So every day we are uh, switching on the tube light for five hours let us assume every day we are switching on the tube light for five hours so tube light is 40 watt so five and uh, five hours into 40 watt something like that you can compute how much energy is consumed by the tube light in this particular room like that every tube light every uh, tube light every fan we can compute the energy consumed that is called energy auditing based on that we can compute the electrical uh, bill eb bill based on that you can able to pay the eb bill and we can estimate something and we can cross check with the uh, EB bill. How close we are, that good engineer we are, how deviation we are, that much we have to fine tune. The conclusion here is here also our Kirchhoff's voltage law and current law comes into picture. From the answer from the question number 10, what do we understand? Voltage is constant for all electrical appliances because they are connected in parallel. That is understood from the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Current branches to each appliance, since current varies for all appliances. So that is through KCL. Okay, so all electrical wiring diagrams satisfy Kirchhoff's voltage law and current law. Current flows through each appliance is directly proportional to the power of the appliances because the voltage remains constant. So we pay EB bill only for the current flowing through the each appliances, not for voltage. That is the moral of the story. So it's quite interesting, right? Okay, Apo odna current, thalna voltage, thadda resistance. Okay, copper wire rikkar thala nala thadku matang yar me, thala nala current nalla odi ranga. Switch open moni vechita. That is a good insulator. Okay, now we will see the voltage which is potential energy. Potential means nilayateral. Current flows are equilateral. There is a potential difference, there are only current flows. So, to conclude, current is voltage, that is resistance. In the concept, we will see electricity. So the switch 1, switch 2, switch 3, switch 4 is our switch box that we are uh, using in our house, right? So the switches are connected in series to the bulb, right? The switches are connected in series to the bulb that you need to understand. When the switch is closed, the current flows. When the switch is open, the current will not flow. That we all know very well, right? So the total current flowing through all the electrical appliances is I1, I2, I3, I4 that we all know very well. But uh, here, very interesting thing. But we are talking about energy. When we talk about energy, then we need to look at both the voltage and current. So all of us are very much comfortable with voltage, but very few of us have some uh, knowledge in the current. So now it's fantastic. It is very important for us to look at the current waveforms also. And we have to do some analysis on this. Now let us see this waveform, right? We can take 50 Hz as a reference. So the one cycle is 20 millisecond, right? And the positive of cycle is around 10 millisecond. Negative of cycle is around 10 millisecond. So voltage and current waveform is this, right? The gradually the voltage increases from zero to the maximum. Okay. So the maximum means what exactly? So if this is 20 millisecond means, so one half cycle is 10 millisecond and one half of the one half cycle is five millisecond. At the end of fifth millisecond, right? At the end of fifth millisecond, the voltage is in the peak, right? Voltage is in the peak. Okay, with respect to the 230 voltage AC supply from our EB department, one cycle is 20 millisecond, out of which the voltage is at most maximum at fifth millisecond. Do you agree? Fifth millisecond, right? So voltage means what in Tamil? Min alatham. So alatham anja the millisecond na kumbha alatham rukade. Ida quantify panna na yarnooti muppa alatham garade anja the millisecond lada rukade. So we talk about two thirty voltage. So two thirty voltage exactly we are getting only at the fifth millisecond. That's very important. Ipo alatham rumba adi ma rukade na alay adi anja the millisecond la 
ஓட்டமும் அதிகமா இருக்குது ஓட்டம்னா என்னது கரண்ட் மின் ஓட்டம்னா தானே கரண்ட் ஓகே அப்போ மின் அழுத்தம் அதிகமா இருக்கும் ஐந்தாவது மில்லி செகண்டில் மின் ஓட்டமும் அதே ஐந்தாவது மில்லி செகண்டில் அதிகமாக இருக்கிறது ஃப்ரம் ஃபிஃப்த் மில்லி செகண்ட் டு டென்த் மில்லி செகண்ட் கிராஜுவலி த வோல்டேஜ் இன்க்ரீஸ் அழுத்தம் மெதுவாக குறைக்கப்படுகிறது அழுத்தம் மெதுவாக குறைக்கப்படுவதால் ஓட்டமும் மெதுவாக குறைக்கப்படுகிறது ஸோ இந்த வோல்டேஜ் கிராஜுவலி டிக்ரீசஸ் ஃப்ரம் த பீக் டூ தேர்ட்டி வோல்டேஜ் டு த ஜீரோ வோல்டேஜ் ஃப்ரம் ஃபிஃப்த் மில்லி செகண்ட் டு டென்த் மில்லி செகண்ட் த கரண்ட் வில் ஆல்சோ கிராஜுவலி டிக்ரீசிங் ஃப்ரம் its corresponding flow to its zero level okay so if it is 100 watts bulb means current gradually flows from uh, 434 milliamps to its zero then from zero this is very very important direction of the current flow changes why because direction of the pressure changes what do you mean by the direction of the pressure assuming that positive half cycle is pushing the negative half cycle is pulling because it is changing the direction right ஸோ தள்ளுனா வோல்டேஜ் ஓடுனா கரண்ட்டு தடுத்த ரெசிஸ்டன்ஸ் நம்ம சொல்கிறோம் அப்படியே ஜீரோ டு அஞ்சாவது மில்லி செகண்ட் வரைக்கும் அழுத்த ஜாஸ்தியாக தள்ளுறோம் அஞ்சாவது மில்லி செகண்ட் ரொம்ப பீக்கில் தள்ளுறோம் அஞ்சாவது இருந்து பத்தாவது மில்லி செகண்டுக்குள்ளே அப்படியே தள்ளுறத நிறுத்திடுறோம் பத்தாவது மில்லி செகண்ட் இருந்து பதினஞ்சாவது மில்லி செகண்ட் வரைக்கும் கிராஜுவலாக ரொம்ப இழுக்கு பார்க்குறோம் அப்போ யூ ஆர் சேஞ்சிங் த டைரக்ஷன் ஆஃப் த ஃபோர்ஸ் விச் இஸ் ரெப்ரஸன்டட் பை நெகட்டிவ் ஆஃப் சைக்கிள் so negative means it is not a negative it is changing the direction of the force right instead of pushing i have started pulling from 5th millisecond to 5 sorry 10th millisecond to 15th millisecond appo ilukiradunala enna agum current um kuda varudhu endha direction la opposite direction talluna oduvaanga ilutha odi varuvaanga talluna oduvaanga ilutha odi varuvaanga so povanga vaanga zero la irundhu 10th millisecond varaikku ella poranga 10th millisecond la irundhu 20th millisecond ku ella therin padranga அவ்வளோதான் போயிட்டு வாங்க இதை போயிட்டு வர்றது எவ்வளோ முடியுது இருபது மில்லி செகண்டுக்குள்ள முடிஞ்சது பீக்கில் போகிறது அஞ்சாவது மில்லி செகண்டில் பீக்கில் வர்றது பதினஞ்சாவது மில்லி செகண்டில் கிராஜுவலாக ஓட ஆரம்பிச்சு அஞ்சாவது மில்லி செகண்டில் பீக்கில் ஓடி அஞ்சாவது மில்லி செகண்ட்லேருந்து பத்தாவது மில்லி செகண்ட்லேயும் கிராஜுவலாக குறைய ஆரம்பிச்சு பத்தாவது மில்லி செகண்ட்லேருந்து பதினஞ்சாவது மில்லி செகண்ட்குள்ள கிராஜுவலாக திருப்பி ஓடி நம்ம பக்கம் திருப்பி ஓடி வந்துட்டு பதினாவது மில்லி செகண்ட் பதினஞ்சாவது மில்லி செகண்ட் இருபதாவது மில்லி செகண்டில் ஜீரோ ஆகிறேன் இது ரொம்ப அருமையாக ரொம்ப லட்சணமாக இந்த டைக்ராம் நம்ம பார்க்கல இன்னொரு அனிமேஷன் கூட பார்க்கல ரொம்ப வசதியாக இருக்குது இது ரொம்ப கவனிச்சு பார்க்க வேண்டியதாக இருக்குது ஸோ ரொக்கு அந்த ஸ்க்ரீன் இஸ் வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் கியர் வோல்டேஜ் வந்து டூ தேர்ட்டி வோல்டேஜ் ஃப்ரீக்வன்சி ஃபிஃப்டி ஹெட்ஸ் நம்ம எலக்ட்ரிக்கல் சப்ளை வச்சுக்கிட்டோன்னா ஸோ ஒன் பீரியட் இஸ் ஒன் பை ஃபிஃப்டி விச் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு டுவெண்ட்டி மில்லி செகண்ட் ஸோ த பீரியட் ஆஃப் த டே ஃபார்ம் இஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி மில்லி செகண்ட் ஸோ பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் த பீரியட் இஸ் டுவெண்ட்டி மில்லி செகண்ட் பாசிட்டிவ் ஆஃப் சைக்கிள் இஸ் டென் மில்லி செகண்ட் அண்ட் த நைட்டி ஆஃப் சைக்கிள் இஸ் அந்த டென் மில்லி செகண்ட் வாட் இஸ் நெகட்டிவ் ஆஃப் சைக்கிள் change in direction right change in direction right so voltage and current in the rising time voltage and current rising time to peak right so from 0 to 5 millisecond right from 0 to minus 5 millisecond so the voltage gradually increases that means min alatham gradually increases so min atom min atom gradually increases so current gradually increases from the 5th millisecond to 10th millisecond from the 5th millisecond to 10th millisecond so voltage and current falling towards zero that means gradually the force decreases hence the flow decreases fantastic right so from the 10th millisecond to 15th millisecond voltage in the current rising time to the peak in the opposite direction so pulling force increases so pulling flow so that is the pulling flow increases gradually okay the blue color wave form is a voltage wave form brown color wave form is the current wave form in voltage increases current gradually increases so the finally at the end of uh, the last fifth millisecond right so gradually the pulling force gradually decreasing from 15th millisecond to 20th millisecond hence the current flow is also decreasing gradually from 15th millisecond to 20th millisecond now it's very interesting to celebrate this voltage and current wave form in an every circuit there is an app called every circuit that you need to appreciate so in this every circuit animation diagram here we have given the 50 hertz and a 230 voltage ac supply look at the screen look at the cursor 230 voltage 50 hz ac supply and assuming that it is a 100 watts bulb having some uh, resistance of around 530 ohms and this is the voltage waveform and current waveform and uh, so the left hand side readings are voltage readings and the right hand side readings are uh, current readings where if it is 100 watts bulb means around some uh, 434 milliamps of current will flow and the voltage is 200 volt 
so now let me animate and you can see the this is these are all electrons right green color circles are electrons which is flowing inside the load load in our sense it is 100 watts bulb right so gradually the voltage increases so the current flow increases gradually the voltage decreases current decreases so voltage never runs please try to understand voltage is a pressure it never runs gradually pressure increases gradually pressure decreases in one direction in the another half cycle gradually the pressure increases in other direction and decreases in other direction so the entire period is 20 millisecond so forward direction means positive reverse direction means negative so this is the one you need to understand with respect to the electrical circuit so because of this reason there is no plus and minus in our uh, plug point we do not have plus and minus in the plug point why because uh, for 10 millisecond the top this is plus and this is minus because here the electron flows here for another 10 millisecond this is plus and this is minus for 10 millisecond uh, this is phase and this is neutral for another 10 millisecond this is phase and this is neutral so every 10 millisecond the phase in neutral changes hence there is no plus and minus for ac because of that reason force millisecond so this repeats 50 times in one second, which is called as 50 hits. If electrons are in 20 milliseconds. So within 10 milliseconds, we have sent out 230 electrons, say for example. Within another 10 milliseconds, we got back another 230 electrons. In terms of money, if you want to say, we have earned 230 rupees in 10 milliseconds and then we have spent 230 rupees in one second so at last end of one second or at the end of 20 millisecond how many people has gone away the same people have came back so net result is zero that's why ac cannot be stored that's why ac cannot be stored that is why power cut exists nowadays okay so this is quite interesting right so there is no polarity in the plug point is just because keep on the current flow changes because it is that ends why it is called as alternating current so, AC is alternating current. Then, the current is in direction and in one direction. We are AC current. Alternating. Why is alternating current? Alternating voltage. We are talking about the current. We are talking about the current. We are talking about the current. Now, we have to look at the power, right? Because power is very important with respect to EB. That is our prime objective. So this is the power waveform. This is the where we have to concentrate much, right? So here you can see this is 230 voltage, let us say, and this is 434 milliamps. Appa into milliamps. Abdin sonna. Virandai multiply panna. Namukko no orno under the. That is what nothing but our power max. So over point like a blue point you know, in the purple point in the kathiri bukula like a point in. multiply panna. No chingle. Violet color like a point to multiply for drama, you will get this orange color waveform. At any point of time, if you multiply this blue waveform and purple waveform, you will get this waveform, right? Now, the voltage goes in the positive direction for 5 milliseconds, another it goes in the um, negative direction from 10th millisecond to 20th millisecond. So, the current flow is also in one direction for 10 millisecond, in another direction for another 10 millisecond. But if you look at the power, this is very important. The orange color waveform is power waveform. Power is always positive. So minus 230 into minus 434 milliamps, which is equal to plus 100. So the power waveform is positive waveform. So power is always positive. Multiplied by time, energy is also positive. That's why we are going to supposed to pay the amount to the EV office. Okay. So this is fantastic, right? So in terms of in terms of phase both the voltage and current are in phase with each other so there is a zero phase difference between the voltage and current with respect to the 100 watts incandescent lamp which is very interesting right okay the same concepts here once again so because the period is one uh, frequency is 50 hertz so one period is 20 millisecond so the power waveform is also two power waveforms are coming within um, 20 milliseconds so 100 uh, the frequency of power is 100 in one context right so here the positive half cycle is again 10 millisecond and anti half cycle is again another uh, 10 millisecond and uh, the rising edge is uh, the power rises from zero to the maximum during the first five millisecond and the power gradually decreases from maximum to zero in the second fifth millisecond again the power goes from zero to maximum 
in the 10 to 15th millisecond, even though the voltage and current are in the opposite direction, the power is only in the positive direction. Why? Because minus into minus plus. Here you can see how mathematics are very much helpful for us. So, and finally, the fourth, uh, fifth millisecond, there is the fourth segment. So, the voltage and current gradually decreases from uh, negative maximum to the zero. And so, the power is also gradually decreasing from positive maximum to zero. So this is quite interesting, right? So, this is how we can able to check. Okay, for 100 watts bulb, right? For 100 watts bulb, you see, um, this is a 230 voltage, right? So, you look at this, the blue color uh, waveform is a 230 voltage waveform. And the current flowing through 100 watts bulb is around 435 milliamps, right? So, 435 milliamps of current is flowing or 0.435 milliamps of current is flowing. So, the product of this 230 into 0.435 is 100 watts, which is at your power waveform as you see here. So, fantastic, right? So, once again, 100 watts equal to 230 voltage into 0.435 amps. As we see here in this 100 watts bulb, so power equal to voltage into current and energy equal to voltage into current into time. So, energy means again 230 voltage into 0.435 current into time in hours. So, if the 100 watts bulb glows for 10 hours, 100 watts bulb glows for 10 hours, and we are getting 1000 watt hour, which is equal to 1 kilowatt hour, which is equal to 1 unit of energy. Okay, one unit of energy in our Tamil Nadu state government has given 100 units free of cost. The energy calculation for the electrical appliances in our home. So now it's our time for us to look at all the electrical appliances, right? Name of the electrical appliances, we can give the electrical appliances under what in condition lamp because we have taken that as a reference. The table we can practice like this, it will be very interesting for an electrical engineer as well as electronics engineer where we talk about energy management system, we talk about smart home, we talk about smart energy. For everything, we need to know how much energy is being consumed by each and every appliances. This is the good practice where everyone can celebrate, right? For example, the 100 watt incandescent lamp is being used. Let us say, for example, in the first column, we can play like this. In the second column, what about the voltage? Obviously, voltage remains same. We can have it as 230 voltage. So, what about the current flowing through 100 watts bulb? We all know very well we no need to measure, right? We all know very well no need to measure because when it's 100 watts bulb, means voltage is also 230. Current flowing through 100 watts bulb is around 434 milliamps, right? So, the current flowing through 100 watts bulb is 434 milliamps. Then, what about power product of this 230 into 434 milliamps will be 100. That's very simple. That has been known. Then, time, how long it is being used, that is very important per day or something like that. If you have analysis per day, means right. So, power rating is 100 watts as we are now. If you are using it for a day, means so 100 watts bulb is glowing two hours per day. Let us assume in our house, we are using 100 watts bulb for two hours per day, something like that. So, then what is the computation? You have to compute the energy, right? So, why hours for easy computation? So, 100 into 2, something like this, 100 into 2, 200. So, 200 watt hours. Okay. So, 200 watt hours is the energy which is consumed by 100 watts bulb per day, per day in our house. Let us take this as an example. Every day, if you are using uh, 100 watts bulb for 2 hours, then uh, per month, I am using this for 60 hours, right? I'm using this for 60 hours. So 100 into 60, it is 6,000 watt hours. So 6 kilowatt hours, something like that. Okay. Or uh, every day we are using 200 watt hour means per month, 200 into 30. So 30 days per month means 6,000 watt hours. So we can say it is 6 kilowatt hour. So 6 units of energy is being consumed by a 100 watts bulb per month if that 100 watts bulb is used for 2 hours per day, something like this. We know how much uh, time we are using our every electrical appliances approximately by having that as a reference. We can list out like this, say for example, I'm just showing the second thing, right? So let us say for example, 24 watts EFL lamp, okay? So voltage is also 230. How much current is flowing through 24 watts EFL lamp? You have to compute. So some zero watts bulb is now three watts LED lamp. And there is an iron box and there is a ceiling fan and there is a table fan and there is a tabletop grinder and there is a mixer grinder that is mixy and if we have an ac and submersible motor in bore well or some motor for the underground some uh, tank to overhead tank and etc like this if we fill all these columns and finally total kilowatt hour per month the last top bottom bottom right corner if you are able to fill means per month we are using this much of uh, units okay so then you go and check with our uh, EB box, which is our uh, energy meter and cross check with that. If both are equal, 
you can appreciate yourself you are a good engineer and your your estimation as well as your assumption and your way of computation is not a percent perfect how much your calculation is deviating from the energy meter reading so we have to find your need how to match with this this is a wonderful homework where now we are in home where a lot of things to learn from the home appliances itself just like that we can learn and we can make a table and then we can do all this or this is what energy auditing you can say this is what energy monitoring system or this is what we can say um home automation kind of things the primary requirement whenever people talk about home automation or smart home the first and foremost requirement is people has to know how much energy is being consumed by each and every appliances and this is the first and foremost step in one context so better try to practice uh, this and try to make your uh, energy consumed by your house per month with the help of this table then we can compute the tariff and then we can plan accordingly how to reduce the eb that is what eb department is also requesting us utilizing the energy or consuming the energy in the most efficient way so being an engineer electrical engineers or electronics engineers it is mandatory for us to consume our energy in a more uh, optimal way so this table will help us to um, analyze how best we are utilizing our electrical energy from our uh, eneb okay so that's all for now thank you